iodine pro data just got a significant firmware update let's check it out you're watching synody supported by b and h and cvp hi guys i'm johnny from synody and i'm here at the iodine booth just behind me i'm here with jeff how are you good good to see you again thank you and mike how are you great to see you again this year john thank you very much and last year we talked about the pro data device that you have which in a second we do a short recap but of course i'm very very curious to know what's new so just for those who will not go back to our to our video to our previous video let me know a little bit what is uh, pro data who, who wants to start i'll start uh well first of all we should start with pro data is the fastest thunderbolt storage in the industry uh, it's our lead product, the first product we introduced. It's the size of a laptop with the lid closed. You can use it as the fastest shuttle drive. You can use it for post-production. We've been selling it for a couple years now. We're going to tell you all about what's new with it today. Uh, but that's the first thing for people to know is it's the fastest Thunderbolt storage, 12, 24, 48 terabytes. It's been used in everything from tiny little advertising projects all the way up to special effects for big studio pictures, including Barbie and Mission Impossible, and even uh, we're very pleased that an entire uh, film was just completed in Japan over the past year that just won entry to the Cannes Film Festival, all done on Iodine Pro Data. Very nice. Jeff, yeah. so what is new? Because you obviously keep updating the product. You're not standing still. So from the techni technical perspective, uh, you just released or about to release a new framework. So the, the big things for people who are already using the product in its existing form is that we now are up about 20% in performance across the board. So that's a lot without changing the hardware, and that update is free. So everything gets 20% faster. How do you do this? Like, you know what I mean? Like, how do you optimize, keep optimizing? What's the secret? 20% more in performance is huge. We actually have invested a lot of time in developing analytical tools that let us see exactly what is happening down to individual details of how an I.O. is processed. And that's an in-house tool. It allows us to figure out exactly what's going on, where delays are happening, and, and then gives us a very clear view of what we can do to get those delays out of the pipeline and move data even faster. Great. Uh, I'll ask Mike if there are any other enhancements. Well, absolutely. The first thing and probably the most exciting thing we're announcing to customers at the show today is we're also adding support for multiple OS platforms. So when we first launched ProData, it was for Mac OS, fastest storage on Mac OS, only Thunderbolt storage with Thunderbolt multipathing. We're now adding that same feature for Windows and adding support for Windows and Linux. So at our booth, customers can see demos running on Windows systems. We have our own Thunderbolt NVMe stack on Windows that enables multipathing for Windows. And most importantly, this is the same product. So Pro Data supports Mac, Windows, and Linux, and even all at the same time. So customers can create multi-OS, multi-platform workflows where maybe part of the workflow is best on Mac, another part of the workflow is best on Windows, and Pro Data is the one product that can stitch all that together and move that data, keep it safe and secure, RAID protected, encrypted for all these different platforms, however you design that workflow. So I can have a team with different laptops, let's say? Exactly. Your device is in the middle, doesn't matter the operating system, I can still be connected and read and share stuff. That's exactly right. And that's we think that's an incredible tool for customers. We have a lot of customers who are telling us that they have really complex workflows where they need to run apps and parts of the workflow on different platforms. And so we've enabled that for our customers. And the, what's so great is because of the work we did on Windows software, the Windows performance numbers, those performance numbers that we already have on Mac that blow everyone else away, we have those same performance numbers on Windows now too, and that's amazing for our customers. Jeff, so we talk about optimizing. Next year, when we're gonna sit here, will you tell me there's another increase in performance or at the end there's some sort of benchmark and that's it, you can't do more with that specific hardware? I would say that we are probably within about 10% of as fast as the hardware can go in our current generation. It's um, it's pretty close to the, the interface limit of having two Thunderbolt connections. We're already at 5.4 gigabytes a second. The best you can do is six, um, just based on the speed of Thunderbolt. So of course, there will be next generations of Thunderbolt, you know, the 80, gig, uh, 80 gigabit support, um, and there will be future hardware that uh, will go even faster as that rolls out. How about pricing? Anything changed in terms of the pricing structure since last year? 
Well, I'm actually pleased to announce that we really haven't changed the pricing structure. Our prices are still the same. Customers can see them on the store. Uh, we offer those prices worldwide through our partners. But, you know, there have been a lot of ups and downs in pricing that folks are familiar with in the industry. Um, we try to price our products fairly, competitively, but also importantly, I think, for our customers to know is our prices do not yo-yo up and down. You know, customers see other products where the product starts out at one price, then all of a sudden it's on sale for zillions cheaper, then all of a sudden it's way more expensive. That's not a good way to do business, we think. So what you see from us is fair pricing, but also consistent pricing over multiple years that's successful for our customers, for our partners. Now, what we have added is a couple new things to the portfolio, and one I'll mention is also we have a really cool accessory. We have cases, we have racks. We added a new accessory since we saw you last year, which is called the DC Power Converter. Very reasonable repriced at a couple hundred dollars, and the DC Power Converter allows you to power Pro Data from a camera battery pack, or a USB-C battery pack, or even both. So now Pro Data is even more accessible and usable on set, thanks to adding more accessories to the line. So we're growing our product line over time, we're optimizing software like Jeff was talking about, and creating more ways for customers to use those products. So Anything I missed about the product, because I have one more question, yeah. which is the $1 million question. Okay. But well, before... Where are you going? Uh, Jeff, Jeff's going to tell you about multi-reader sharing, because that's another feature we added. Okay, let's hear. So, as you know, it's already been the case that you have up to four computers that you can plug into ProData at the same time, and they can each be operating on different containers. Well, with multi-reader sharing, we now have the ability to have containers that are in read-only mode, and this is typical of things like raw footage that you don't actually modify. You just apply layers of changes to it that are separate. You never change the raw footage. That, those containers now can be shared to multiple computers at the same time. So you can have someone doing color work, someone doing other kinds of editing work, and those computers can be even different operating systems. So you can have a Mac OS, you can have a Windows, you can have a Linux, all operating on this at the same time. Nice. So, my question. Last year, when we sat here, I said that I really like working with your device, but I'm, I'm on the go all the time. Yep. Is there any chance, I'll, I'll ask the same question, any chance to see any new hardware coming from you guys anytime soon? All right, so I'm going to give you two, two answers to your million dollar question. The first one is, Iodine is developing some really exciting products in different areas and we absolutely are developing next generation hardware technologies. And so we're very aware of what customers need, including yourself. Uh, we got a lot of exciting things in the future. And my second answer is if customers want to stay tuned and know what iodine is doing, they should watch Synody. <laughs> very nice. Jeff, anything from you? Uh, I think that says it perfectly well. This is our standard Senate testimony. <laughs> very nice. Jeff, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Mike, thank you very much. Guys, thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.